in the game. The ball was bouncing around in the box. And it's Suarez that gets the final touch. Not offside. Ball goes over the line. Suarez knew it. What a start for Barcelona. Iniesta lets it run, then tries to chase down a Marquinhos. So he's done well, Iniesta! Oh, and it's a second goal! And it really is game on here! Calamitous defending from Paris Saint-Germain! And Barcelona, for the second time in the first half, forced the ball over the line. 2-0 on the night, 4-2 on aggregate. And PSG's enormous first leg advantage has been cut in half before the break. Well, Kajar is the player it comes off. I'm not sure he knew too much about it. They should defend this ball. Zerati tries to dive in. Marquinhos is trying to let it run out of play. There's the big mistake. And Kajar has a big swing at it. Maybe he could have done better. It goes from his foot onto his knee and back into the net. But great persistence from Iniesta. And really, Marquinhos, rather than trying to let the ball run out of play, just deal with it and get it away. In trap, keep this one out. Messi with ten goals in the Champions League already this season. It's Messi for Barcelona! 3-0! Stunning start to the second half. And it's unravelling for Paris Saint-Germain. They're in big trouble, leaning back on the ropes now. And Barcelona, one goal away from forcing extra time. Well, he chose the right way, trap. But it was hit with power. He does get a hand to it, I think. He... Oh, he should have got a hand to it. I think he was just beaten for pace in the end. Pressure penalty, and as ever, Messi the man for Barcelona. What a game we have on our hands here now. Real threat, Cavani! That's the goal that PSG was so desperately hoping for. And suddenly, they're feeling a whole lot better about themselves. And four and a half thousand Parisian supporters leap about for joy. And Barcelona have a whole lot more work to do now. Well, they went to sleep. Rakitic gets caught out. Kajau runs for it, does really well, just to head it back down. And what technique from Cavani, outside of the right foot. He had to choose between using his left or his right, right in between the two. In the end, he goes with the outside of his right foot, hits it with power. What a strike from Cavani. 3-1 on the night, Barcelona. 5-3 on aggregate, Paris Saint-Germain. And they have uh, an away goal, which, of course, Barcelona didn't manage in the first game. Neymar would look to hit the far post here. Try and bend it into that far corner, have... A couple of the Barcelona players racing across the goalkeeper's line. Now, what's Neymar got up his sleeve here? Oh, he's got something really special up his sleeve. Great goal. Neymar for Barcelona. 4-1 on the night. 4-5 on aggregate. What a free kick. Bends it over the wall with pace, but you have to look at the goalkeeper. He's just got to have a dive here. He just lets it go in at his near post. I think he felt as though it was going wide. Trap. It's a really poor effort from the goalkeeper, but a good free kick from Neymar. Plenty of bend and whip on it. Suarez gets in behind. He's just got to drop that little bit deeper before the ball's played, Marquinhos. He actually hasn't had a very good game, the Brazilian centre-half. He was at fault for the second goal. People have run behind him a little bit too easily. He's just conceded a very cheap free kick, I think. Trap. 
And it's going to be Neymar to take the penalty. Neymar. To make it 5-1 on the night. Neymar against Trap. He scored! Two quick goals for Neymar. Right at the end of the game. It's 5-1 Barcelona. 5-5 on aggregate. It's now all about how much any time is going to be given here. The crowd suddenly revitalised. Big, big moments here. It's a good penalty. Verratti was almost standing next to Neymar as he took that. What a cool penalty from Neymar. Piquet's now playing up front. Busquets has gone into the centre-half position. Well, Barcelona are going to throw the lot. Grandstand finish to this game, away off the uh, head of Adrian Rabiot. Intense pressure now on the Paris Saint-Germain defence. It's Neymar trying to feed it through. It's a stretch, and it's in! And I can't remember the last time I saw something like this. Extraordinary scenes at the new Camp. Sergio Roberto, the substitute, is the hero of the hour. And it is the greatest Champions League knockout comeback of all time. What a pass from Neymar. I thought he'd made the wrong decision by coming back onto his left foot. PSG started to squeeze up, and it's the substitute, Roberto, that makes the right run. And what a good finish with the outside of his right boot. They're stunned. Five minutes ago, six minutes ago, they thought they were comfortably through. What a turnaround, what character. And what for this man here, Unai Emery. That's where I thought he should have played the ball in. What a good run. He's onside. He's level. It's the perfect run, the perfect delivery. And Trapp's almost getting out the way of it. Brilliant finish with the outside of his right boot. What a story we've had here. Staggering stuff. The Champions League delivers a classic. And Barcelona, from the depths of a 4-0 first leg defeat, have turned this tie on its head an historic victory now very much within their grasp as Sergio Roberto scores his first goal for 18 months and Paris Saint-Germain who minutes ago seemed to be coasting